Hey guys, it's Justine, and today we're unboxing the brand new Mac Pro and two Pro XDR displays. Now, I wanted this unboxing to be very special because obviously the Mac Pro is super powerful. So, I rented three 8K Reds. We have one, two, three. We're gonna test this thing out after we unbox it, of course. one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> this thing is so in there. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. This, I honestly think this might weigh more than me. I'm not even joking. Well, no, maybe not. Wishful thinking. Let's show you guys the front of this thing. Oh yeah, this is great. Let's get these monitors opened. Unboxing feature here. Which workout do you want to start? Unboxing. I was expecting these boxes to look differently. I thought that they would have like the full screen display, the full Mac Pro on it. It's also like a different type of box. It's like a, feels more of a higher quality like plastic. We've got one more monitor. Gosh, you're so beautiful. It's such a nice minimalist design. It's got a really industrial handle here too. And now for the stands. Even they have a little pull tab. I love how it all matches. Dual monitors, baby. I decided to go with the matte monitors, mostly because my office is very reflective when I have the windows and stuff open. So I thought this would be a really great change of pace. That was not even the unboxing yet. That was just unboxing the box that I need to unbox. This is a 32 inch Retina 6K display with 10 bit color, 1000 nits full screen brightness, 1600 nits of peak brightness, which makes working with HDR content way more accurate. So we're gonna unbox one of the stands first and then a monitor because I'm gonna be using the Mac Pro to unbox these things. I will say that the experience of unboxing this so far has been amazing. Like the texture on the box, the design, the fabric little handle here, and of course, Apple doesn't require a knife. This just pops open like that. I mean, even the stand is an enjoyable unboxing. Feels like there should be something in this, but there's not. Look inside. There it is. This is way bigger than I thought. Even though I saw it at WWDC, I've been waiting for a new Apple monitor for so long. If you can't tell, we currently turned my living room into a nice little office. Also got some directions. Probably going to actually read the instructions for the first time in my life. Knowledge has been seeped into my brain. Let's open up this monitor. It's packaged in like a little blanket. Okay, so this just folds down. I can't believe that this is, I'm touching this right now. I can't believe this is in my house. Wait, do I turn this around for you? You guys, look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness really does look like a cheese grater. Like there's no way around that, like 100%. But I love it. it looks like you got a little Band-Aid on. It's the Apple logo. They protected the Apple logo with this little sticker. So I think that the installation is pretty simple. This really isn't that heavy either. Wait, is it on? Is it in? So this monitor guided itself onto the stand. I didn't even do anything. Like I was just sort of in the vicinity. You are so freaking beautiful. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you are not worth a thousand dollars. Don't let them tell you that because you're worth it. I smell so good. It smells so, it smells like, oh wow, like a, a fresh winter day. I'm so glad I decided to get the matte version. 
It's been a really long time since I've had a matte screen and this is super exciting because I shoot a lot of videos and I'm always shooting my screen. So to be able to have a matte screen with almost zero reflections is going to be amazing. We have one display ready. I'm gonna be editing all of my Instagram stories like this from now on. This is incredible. There's a little switch in the back here. So you just flick that and lock, locked. Okay, let's see what else is in this box. So we've got some more instructions here. So here's the Pro Display XDR booklet. This is a, like a nice paper. Like this is something that I would put on my bookshelf. Monitors are all set up. Now it's time to do the unboxing. Mac Pro, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is actually, the time is now. This box itself is just a piece of work. Like this has Velcro here on the side. It has them on both sides. Like this is a perfectly engineered box. I wasn't sure if this was going to include a mouse and keyboard or not. Mouse, keyboard, trackpad. This is the extended keyboard as well. Is this the matte black mouse? No, this is a black mouse. Maddie, come see this. This is an all new mouse. Because the other one is like a more of a space gray color. This is something that I don't think that they even talked about and a black trackpad. Hold on a second. I'm processing my emotions. <laughs> Look at this. I need to go grab the space gray one because you guys got to see the color difference. Oh gosh, I know we're burning through that red footage. I'm going to go as fast as I can. Okay. All right, okay. The trackpad, obviously extremely different. But here's the mouse. It's more of a little bit of a grayer color with like a blue kind of a hue to it. This is the new mouse, completely black. Come see these color differences. I know you're a dog and you can't see colors. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, it's really heavy. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Here's inside the box. I'm glad this gives you the instructions on how to open the box after you've already opened it power cable, and I think that's it. This box is so well designed. I mean, you need to protect this thing in transit, obviously. Maddie, this could be your new home. I feel like there's probably a better way to do this. Look at the feet. I cannot wait to get wheels on this thing. Apple logo, it's massive. Let's spin this around so you guys can get a real nice shot of this. Isn't this beautiful, Maddie? What do you think? The one thing that I have been dying to try out is lifting up the top of this so it gives you easy access to the internal configuration. So if you need to do any upgrades, which at this point, I'm not sure why you would because this thing is so powerful already. You just turn and lift. It is just so beautiful. I wanna show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the old Mac Pro Tower and the new one. It's really crazy to see what this looks like up next to this new one. It was actually over 10 years ago that I won this thing and the price is right. You guys probably think I'm joking, but I'm not. 
So the old one, the side just popped right off. Still pretty impressive design. Oh, this one is way heavier, for sure. We changed up our angle a little bit, and now we're gonna finally plug this thing in and get these monitors all fired up. Mac Pro. This is the power cable. Maddie, that's old tech. Don't look at it. Okay, finally plugging this thing in. We gotta get this thing set up. Look at the back of this thing. It's so beautiful. Now let's get these Thunderbolt cables plugged in to the monitors. I think that's it. Cable management, mm, not so good. Three, two, one. Can you look, look, so we, have, we have something happening. It is booting up over here. Should I move the screen? Can you see it okay? Are we okay? Is everything okay? Is everyone okay? Am I okay? I'm not sure. Everything's, it's working. Next, we've got both of them set up. Each one of these monitors can go up to 1600 nits of brightness. We have two of them side by side. Now I need to get this thing all set up so that I can start to edit. Night mode Catalina, daytime Catalina. It's great because I have two little desktop options here for each display. I am so excited to edit. Like I've never been this excited to edit anything in my entire life. The brightness is all the way up. You can see here there's different display options. So this one says Pro Display, 1600 nits. So I still need to download everything. I basically have nothing on this computer except whatever iCloud is automatically downloading. I need to get Final Cut, I need Compressor, I gotta get Photoshop in here. And then we're gonna copy all of this red footage over. I do have a four terabyte drive and we've shot, how much stuff have we shot already today? Almost four and a half terabytes. Almost four and a half terabytes. <gasps> so there is an option to go up to eight terabytes, but this is only the four terabyte option. So I'm probably gonna have to also edit some footage off the solid state drive, which I normally do anyway, so that's Totally fine. Since we're gonna also be shooting some more footage tomorrow, I'm probably gonna have to bring my server down so that I can edit directly off of that because these reds are just eating up the space. One of the highlights of the Mac Pro, especially for Final Cut editors, which I am one, is if you have ProRes RAW 8K footage, you can simultaneously edit up to six streams, which is pretty impressive. You can connect up to six of the Pro Display XDRs to the Mac Pro, but if you have 4K monitors, you can connect 16 of them. So I think everything is now officially downloaded and we can start transferring over this footage. Santa Monica, I wanted to bring you guys here. This is where I shoot all of my review videos, but I wanted to shoot some B-roll, some pats and 8K footage to use here while I'm editing, because I don't really have any, but now I do. Okay, Justine, I know you're editing this right now. Let's cut to some of the B-roll that we just shot while we were down here. if you've ever played, or if you've ever been to Los Angeles. This is one of my favorite places. It was one of the first places that I ever visited when I came to Los Angeles. This is the area that made me want to move here, and this is also the home of one of my favorite Apple stores. I have a lot of memories here. I slept outside here for 55 plus hours for the iPhone 6. You guys may have seen that video, but this place has a very special place in my heart, in my life, and especially this Apple store. It's so cool. set these monitors when I start editing, but I have some footage already over here and it looks so incredible. I cannot wait to start editing, which I'm gonna do, I guess, right now. So I will see you guys later and wish me luck because I'm probably gonna be here 
all night. I can't believe how good this footage looks. What time do you guys want to start tomorrow? Nine o'clock? Maybe earlier? Do you think maybe you guys can leave like one light on? Did you, did you eat all the pizza? Daddy, where are they going? Do you want... hours of editing because I fell asleep, but I got a few things edited here, but what we have going on is I'm editing this all in an 8K timeline. So previously we were shooting red code 5 to 1 compression, and I realized that the compression rate was super high and it was eating up storage space so quickly. So we switched it for the rest of the shoot. We're now shooting 10 to 1, so that's giving us much more time to record and a lot more storage space. Here we go. This is it. I'd play this for you, but you already saw this edited in this video. So when I click into here, you'll see that I have this in a multi-cam timeline and I'm able to quickly and easily switch between camera shots. So this monitor I'm using as an AV output, which is super easy to do. You just click AV output and this is basically being used as our display monitor. Currently at the time of shooting this, I'm not entirely done editing this yet. It's still a rough edit. So many of you guys are probably wondering what the specs are of this computer. So this is obviously the Mac Pro. This is the 2.5 gigahertz 28 core. Intel processor, which is so insane that this is something that is sitting in my house right now. This has 384 gigs of memory, which can be upgraded to 1.5 terabytes. Also absolutely insane. This has the four terabyte solid state drive. My storage is full, no! I made a huge mistake by thinking that I could edit a lot of this off of the internal, so I'm gonna be exporting all of this onto my Jellyfish server and then editing just with the library on my internal drive. Now I'm never gonna be able to shoot another YouTube video again unless it's with a red AK. This is a problem. This Mac configuration also has two AMD Radeon Pro Vega 2s, plus it's equipped with an afterburner card. This is used to offload processes to help eliminate the need of creating proxy footage while editing really high quality content. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had so much fun shooting this. I hope you guys enjoyed this first look video here at the new Mac Pro. I've been having so much fun editing this. This video was shot over the course of two days, so at the time of me shooting this right now, I have not got a chance to fully edit and really experience this computer. So stay tuned for a follow-up video at some point. In the meantime, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe so you'll see more of my videos. And I'm gonna go edit now. Maybe I'll make myself a grilled cheese sandwich. Hi, Maddie. Good boy. You excited about this Mac Pro? We're gonna unbox it together, okay? You gonna help mommy edit? <laughs>